to Yu Yang, um, what can we expect from the Chinese economy in 2015? Growth target uh, for this year probably is going to be 7.2, uh, but I myself uh, probably more uh, optimistic uh, than that. Uh, I think uh, maintaining about 7.4 or even higher growth rate is still possible for China. Uh, generally speaking, I share an optimistic outlook, but the question is uh, uh, how to interpret short-term data in terms of the long-run structural determinants. And then the question is not simply whether share of consumption is growing 2, 3 or 5 percent, but what are the institutional determinants behind. What is really a big question in the next 10 years is how the income of migrant workers will develop. Migrant workers, these are roughly 250 million people. And this is the source of uh, growth of consumption. But uh, as long as they don't have sufficient social security, there will be strong incentives not to consume, but to save. And so my point is, in order to change the growth model, you need to change those structural and institutional determinants. What do you think, um, which role will urbanization play in the future economic development of China? By 2030, we are going to have about 70% 70, 70 of people living in, in a city. That certainly gives China a lot of energy to s still maintain high growth rate. But of course, the challenge is just tremendous, especially on the environmental side. Not a single river in Chinese city is clean. Uh, to become greener, you need uh, more stringent uh, regulation, right? better implementation. Uh, local governments may not want to do that. Right? Is GDP growth and the revenue growth is still their immediate objective. I think that the topic of uh, the environment is also politically very important. Why? Because this is an area where the Chinese people can complain. Yeah? And the uh, government has to accept this. And that's why uh, China, for, also for political reasons, has to adopt a very active attitude towards uh, environmental issues. When we talk about China, what kind of system is it? Is it a command-style economy? Is it state capitalism? Is it a market economy? This uh, Communist Party is very much in favor of a uh, market economy. If you look at, at competition, uh, labor market, uh, the goods market, uh, and all this is very competitive. I would even say sometimes you have a free market, uh, mm -hmm. much uh, less regulated than in Germany. On the other hand, you have deep interventions, uh, especially in the financial sector. This is why I think that changing the growth model in terms of increasing consumption is not just a macroeconomic issue. It is really an institutional issue and uh, requires uh, some rethinking about the role of the government in particular areas of the economy. Do you think that the government or the party is strong enough to make this work? In general, uh, I would say President Xi Jinping supports economy reform. That's where vital. The third opinion document must be approved by him. This is a marvelous plan uh, to move China toward a truly market economy. So on that count, I have no doubt uh, President Xi Jinping is going to push really, really hard on reform. And he has the ability to do that.